Cloud Guard Games is off to an incredible start on Steam in 2024. They have already published the two most popular adult games of the year so far, and they have 25 games set to come out in 2024. Of those 25, here are the 9 most interesting titles, other than the wildly popular Winter Memories and Living with Sister Monochrome Fantasy. These games include Harems, Corruption, Netarare, Transformation, Monster Girls, Mechs, and, most importantly, Fishing. As always, all links can be found for free on my Patreon, because I'm pretty certain that YouTube plans to outlaw fishing as soon as they eliminate all adult content. First up, we have Anisha and the Binding Brand. This was the number two game on DL site last year, after Winter Memories. While the name has changed from the original, Anisia and the Contract Mark, Little Saint of Horseshoe Street, this is still very much a female protagonist corruption-focused game. And I do mean corruption-focused. Just about every corruption-adjacent flavor that you can imagine shows up in this game in one form or another. If you really like the corruption stat system of Karen's Prison, then I highly recommend checking this one out. Anisia and the Binding Brand is available for PC on Steam, DL site, and Kagura's website. Next up we have Yoru Ga Kuru Square of the Moon Remastered. So as many of you know, I really like Alisoft series like Rance and Avenical. Similar to those, Yoru Ga Kuru was originally released by Alisoft back in 2001. This urban fantasy dungeon crawler RPG also really reminds me of the Shin Megami games if you like that aesthetic. The remaster updates the resolution of the game, adds new audio and soundtracks, and most importantly has a mode that is way more convenient than the original. You can even make the game much, much easier. I mean, you are still able to play in the original mode if you really want to suffer through the difficulty and grind that comes with playing a JRPG from 2001, but I am all about playing the modern version. Either way, if you are a fan of Rance or Ivanical like I am, definitely check out Yoru Ga Kuru Square of the Moon Remastered. Available for PC on Steam and Kagura's website. Sticking with JRPGs, we have Cheryl, the Alchemist of the Island Ruins. This female protagonist action RPG feels a lot like Rune Factory, just without the farm aspect. I keep saying that one day someone is going to make an adult content version of Harvest Moon or Stardew Valley and make so much money. Until then, this is a solid exploration of the corruption flavor, but not as good as Anisha and the Binding Brand. Cheryl, the Alchemist of the Island Ruins, is available for PC on Steam, DL site, and Kagura's website, where you can also get the patch. Armored Suit Solgante is the first of our two NTR games, and is by the same developer that made Ryogar, Asuka, and the King of Steel. Like Ryogar, this is a mech game, but the gameplay is not as extensive. However, this is an excellent example of an oblivious male protagonist NTR game with multiple endings. Unfortunately, there is not a lot that I can show of this or the next game, so I'll take this moment to thank all of my patrons. You all are amazing. Armored Suit Solgante is available for PC on Steam, DL site, and Kagura's website. Our second NTR game is Monica's Newly Red Life. This fantasy RPG allows you to switch between the married male and female protagonists, and is definitely corruption focused. Monica's Newly Wed Life is available for PC on Steam, DL site, and Kagura's website. Next up is the strategy RPG, How to Build a Flying City. This is from the same developer that made How to Build a Magnificent Kingdom, and there are a lot of similar mechanics. You are the mayor of a floating city that you have to build up and maintain over 32 stages with three different difficulty levels. There are 17 different love interests that you can build a harem out of, or choose to go with a more corruption-centric focus. How to Build a Flying City is available for PC on Steam, DL site, and Kagura's website. From Supreme Executive Power, we move to Involuntary Transformation with And the Hero Was Never Seen Again. You are the male hero who has just defeated the Demon King, and you are suddenly transformed into a woman. Will you still be able to help your country rebuild? Or will this turn into yet another female protagonist corruption game? Um, spoilers. And the Hero Was Never Seen Again is available for PC on Steam, GOG, DL site, and Kagura's website where you can also get the patch. What would a list of Japanese games be without Magical Girl representation? Fortunately, we have Angel Tear Goddess Betrayed. 
This female protagonist title feels a lot like the visual novel parts of Venus Blood Frontier. So if you like that type of fantastical transformation and corruption with multiple endings, definitely check this one out. Angel Tear Goddess Betrayed is available for PC on Steam, Deal Site, and Kagura's website. And finally, we have the game that you have all been waiting for, Legend of the Masturbator. Touting itself as a fishing battle RPG, there are 50 different fish girls to catch and... What is fish sex called? Spawn with? I know what you're thinking. Annie, is this just a meme game? I'll have you know that there is also an otter. Legend of the Masturbator is available for PC on Steam, DL site, and Kagura's website. There you have it. Will any of these be more popular than Winter Memories or Monochrome Fantasy? Probably not, but this still represents the strongest year of releases Kagura has ever had, and I'm confident that Kagura will be the most successful adult content publisher of 2024. I mean, seriously, with the games coming out like Legend of the Masturbator, how can Kagura possibly founder? Until next time, no shaming, just gaming.